Hi, I'm Susan Bearden, a career woman. You may know me from commercials and fashion magazines. In this video, I am going to show you all the tricks that I have learned on how to stretch my wardrobe so that you always have something to wear. Believe me, it's easy, and all it takes is a scarf. First, we'll learn how to select a scarf by color and pattern, then how to style different size scarves to bring a total look to everything you own and personalize your image. Now let's begin with the basic fashions you have in your closet. A two-piece suit, the mainstay of your wardrobe, to be dressed up or down, with scarves around collars or stuffed in pockets. A colorful day dress, a perfect foil for a variety of scarf sizes and looks for office or dinner. A swimsuit becomes a bodysuit to accessorize with an extra large scarf, like a pareo for after poolside. Simple black for evening takes dramatically to all kinds of glamorous scarves from silk to lamé. A coat or jacket, whether colorful or neutral, made more exciting when worn with a shawl. Everyday sportswear, a sleek shaped pullover worn over a slim skirt or pants updated with pattern and color in a scarf. Now down to basics, how to build your scarf wardrobe. Scarves come in many colors and patterns, so it's important for you to choose the colors that are right for you and to coordinate with the colors that already exist in your closet. When selecting a color, it's not important to match the colors exactly. Instead, use color families and contrast colors to work with all your fashions. Let's start with this print scarf. There are many colors in the print, but only the reds and pinks are dominant. Now, look at this scarf. As you can see, the ground color dominates. If I have a red-pink family, a blue-green combination, and a neutral beige colored scarf, I can coordinate them with anything in my wardrobe. Always try the scarf on. Just casually tie it around your neck to get a sense of what colors stand out and which colors work best with your own skin and hair coloring. A scarf frames the face and should look very complimentary. Scarf size is important. The shawl, always fashion news, creatively tied and wrapped, secured with a shawl slide to add ornamentation. A bias tie bows easily. An oblong is fuller. The smaller square is the most versatile size for scarf styling ideas. Fold it into an oblong, loop it into a soft knot and tie it to the back. A simple graceful knot for under just about any collar. Take a square and fold it into a triangle. Tie it bandit style over your nose. Cross the ends in the back and bring around and tie a knot under your chin. Tuck the ends in. And fold the scarf down twice over the knot, adding a soft turtleneck or cowl to a classic crew or low neckline. Adding excitement to a basic jacket. The scarf clip, the simple way to style a scarf. Hold a scarf clip in front of you with the loop open. With the square folded into a triangle and knotted at the back, pull the fold through the back of the clip to form a pocket. Fasten the clip. Spread apart, pulling outside edges so that the clip slides up to the base of the neck, creating an oversized bib full of color and print. Wear it out or use it as a filler. With a larger square scarf, fold it into a rectangle, take opposite corners forming two triangles, place scarf around the neck, keep ends even. Easily tie the ends of the silk square into a knot. Spread out each panel carefully to create a scarf that doubles as a collar. Turn casually to the side. Or move the knot around to the back, creating a draped double collar. A feminine touch for most any neckline. It's a three-in-one look. Watch a knot become a graceful tuck-in. Pick up the center of a square turned inside out and tie a knot. Turn the scarf right side out, leaving the knot hidden inside. Then take the opposite ends of the scarf, creating a butterfly effect. Tie the ends around the back of your neck. Getting a gathered colorful effect that drapes perfectly in silk. Tuck in for that fashion filler. 
Or take a scarf clip and fold a lamé square into an oblong and put it around your waist. Pull the ends of the scarf through the loop of the decorative clip. Fasten the clip and tuck in the ends. You've created a glamorous belt. Add pearls and go from the office to dinner. Another way to style a large square, hold at both ends and slowly accordion pleat the entire scarf until it becomes an oblong shape. Place it around your neck and flip one end over the other. Fan out and get a double pleated look. Move it to the front for a frilly ascot. Great on a bare neck or even under a collar. Cuff a large folded triangle over your forehead and pull all points to the back. Bring the two ends together. Pinch halfway up and pull through the ring of the clip. Fasten. Carefully pull all the fabric out. So you did it. You've created a head wrap perfect for AM or PM. Place an oblong scarf folded in half around your neck. Tie a loose knot halfway up one end. Take the other end and pull it through the knot. Tug both ends to secure. And fan out. A dramatic half bow adds interest to a basic turtleneck. Note the importance of coordinating colors with bright accents. Once you've folded an oblong in half, tie a loose knot in the middle of it. And bring the ends of the oblong to the back. And around to the front. Put one end through the one side of the knot. And the other end through the opposite side of the knot. Fan out the ends and fluff up the knot. A great look for jeweler scoop or even collared necklines. Use a dressy scarf clip with a folded lame oblong. Feed one end of the oblong through the loop of the clip. Then pinch the other side and pull it up through the loop. Fasten. And fan out both ends to dazzle even the barest of evening looks. With a folded oversized oblong under a collar, tie a knot in one side leaving the end out. Take the other side, fold up, bring down through the knot. Flip the folds over the knot creating a low floppy ascot that can also work with an open neckline. Take an oversized oblong and gather the middle of it up. Then take and twist it. Throw one end over your shoulder, and then the other end over the other shoulder. Adjust, creating a beautiful back look with the panels of the oblong flowing behind you. Very dramatic. Again, take a scarf clip and hold it in front of you with the loop open. Pull about three inches of both sides of the folded oblong through the back of the scarf clip. Fasten. Gently with a pulling motion, pull the scarf into a bow. Wear it high or low at the neck, to the front or even to the side. It's a great glamorous bow. Take a bias tie and place it around your neck. About halfway down, make a soft bow that is simple to do. Creating a feminine touch that adds individuality to your sportswear, much like a long necklace. bias tie or an oblong around your neck and tie leaving one end much shorter than the other. Starting at the end of the longest piece, gather it up with both hands to the base of the neck. Wrap the shorter end around, creating a gathered bow tie look. Fluff out for a pleated bow, a feminine way to soften a suit. 
Take a bias tie that's folded in half. Put it around your neck, pulling the open ends through the loop. Take your scarf clip about four inches down and feed the ends through the back of the clip. Bring the scarf clip up to the base of the neck and fasten. Spread the ends of the scarf and bring around the back. To the front and twist. Then tie at the back of the neck. Tuck in and adjust the decorative scarf clip that has just become a choker. An ultra glamorous shawl becomes a sensational cover-up by folding it into a rectangle and knotting both ends to create a kimono, a very clever bit of shawl styling. Take a shawl that's been folded into a triangle and knot one end. Then take the other end and pull it through the knot, securing the shawl so that it can be worn easily and dramatically. On a suit, or a great separate jacket, or your favorite coat. Simply take a shawl folded into a triangle and drape it on your shoulder, or hold the triangle in front of you and pleat it slightly. Place around your neck and bring the two ends forward. Take a shawl slide and thread the ends through it, much like a belt buckle. Pull the slide up, spread the ends and create the very newest of shawl looks. Again, a shawl is folded into a triangle, but this time place it on your hips and around your waist. Take the shawl slide and thread the ends through. Pull the slide up to your waist by spreading the ends out, anchoring the slide. Then tuck in the triangular edge to get a wide wrapped hip look. How to use a Pareo. Bring it around your body with the ends together and to one side in front, take the ends and cross over, then twist and bring them up under your arm. Tie the ends together on your shoulder. You've made a dress look for after the beach. Untie the ends. Bring them around to center front and twist together. Tie the ends around the back of your neck for a quick cover-up halter look. Untie and simply put around your hips and tie the ends to the side for a sarong effect. Let's review. Knot a square, fold over, clip a bib, form a collar, colorful filler, clip a belt, pleat and flip, wrap a head, oblong bow, floppy bow ties, glamorous wrap, ascot, big bow, bias bow, pleated bow, bias choker, shawl kimono, shawls tie, drape, and wrap hips and waist. Pareos make halters. Now you know how to tie a scarf. Practice on your own and develop your own styles. I'm gonna show you some of my hot accessory tips. They're fun, easy, and a fast way to change your look and add a personal touch. Hot tips, scarf clips, clip ears, clip lapels and pockets, clip shoes, scarves, stuff pockets, tie a pony, make belts, and even become flowers. Clips, clips, glorious clips. Come in a variety of looks from classic to decorative in gold or silver. In all sizes that work with all scarf shapes and fabrics. Clips range from a small one inch back loop to the larger one and a half inch back loop perfect for shawls and wool chalet. Shawl slides are the largest of the loops and are thread just like a belt buckle. Shawl slides are the answer to how to wear a shawl. Let me show you how many ways there are to use the shawl slide. It's fun. Fold a shawl into a triangle, then gather it up, thread the ends through the shawl clip, much like a belt buckle, and pull through.
place it on your shoulder and fan it out. It's as simple as that, and it stays in place. For another look, bring the shawl around to the front and over your shoulders. Weave both ends through the shawl slide and slide up. Casually drape it to one side. Wear it over your coat or around your jacket. Shrug it to the front and create fashion's newest way to wear a shawl off your shoulders. Fill out the enclosed postcard right away and send it to us and you will receive a complimentary scarf clip booklet giving you even more ways on how to use a scarf clip or a scarf slide. Practice with this video and then invent your own styles which will express your own individuality. Scarfs are the answer on how to expand your wardrobe and add fashion and glamour to everything you wear.